good old 100 series, all wheel drive, 1HD FTE. So the dyno results here are measured at all four wheels. This car's an automatic uh, 100 series. And we still do loads of them today. They're still immensely popular for us. We're doing loads and loads of these every day of the week. Um, and this, what, this comparison here, we've got the, the red power and the red torque, which is how the car came to us with, a, with another brand of um, chip, if you want to call it that. Um, and the, the, the customer's not that thrilled with his power output, but the most disappointing thing for the customer was the number of transmissions he's had to put in this because the fueling on this other chip shortens the life dramatically of the transmission. It doesn't control things the way it should, over fuels in areas where it shouldn't, drops the line pressure via throttle position, and all those things add up to a very short transmission life. Whereas the Unichip, the way we've nutted it out, we up the line pressure via throttle control. We obviously gain a substantial amount of torque. We've gained 130 Newton metres at 1800 RPM over the other chip. Closer to 300 Newton metres gain over standard. We've gained 30 kilowatts power at 1800 RPM. And we've gained 36 kilowatts at 2400 RPM. So a big gain over the other brand. But more importantly, we're looking after the transmission. We're the only ones that have really nutted out what has to happen with the transmission control and, and the throttle control and all that to keep that line pressure up. Um, and that shows a huge benefit when you have an automatic 1HD FTE. Using the new chip, what we've done is we've fitted an electronic boost solenoid which uh, is plumbed in between the boost reference and the wastegate. I've just connected it all up and plugged it all in, so now we've got 3D mapping control over the boost on this 1HD.